Hey guys, Giggles here. Please don't call me that. Today, I'm gonna be telling you about the miracle of childbirth. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> What the fuck? Why did I come up with that? Okay, today I'm going to be telling you about one of the more ghetto experiences in my life, and it involves gambling. For those of you that don't know, I spent a good part of last year gambling and playing poker. And in order to do that, you have to go to a casino. Most casinos, I lived in Las Vegas, I still do live in Las Vegas, most casinos are fine, they're cool, nothing really happens, they've got security guards if there's any incidents or anything like that, but I was actually visiting a friend, and it was not in the state of Nevada, so when I was visiting a friend, I all of a sudden, my gambling addiction just kicked in, just like, just like that, it just kicked in, and I felt like I had to go play some poker, and nothing in the world was gonna stop me. So, because I was in an area that I didn't really know very well, I decided to look up nearby casinos or places that I could go to play poker, like card rooms and stuff, and I found something that was like 45 minutes away. And again, because I had this massive urge to just go and gamble and play poker, because I'm a gambling addict, I decided to go ahead and give it a go. So I went out there, and it was the most ghetto, worn down, just piece of shit casino. It's not even a casino, it was like a card room that I've ever seen in my entire life. It was pretty embarrassing to even call it a casino. I go in... And not racist, okay? I'm gonna have to say hashtag not racist here. But I go in and like 80% of the people playing there are black. And the security guards are sitting playing blackjack. They're not even doing their job. They're literally sitting at the blackjack tables playing $5 a hand blackjack. And the casino slash card room that I went to is just like seven or eight tables and like a couple of blackjack tables. And that's it. There's some like poker games going on and shit, but it's pretty, it's pretty basic. So I'm like, okay, I, I drove all the way out here. I might as well go ahead and, and play a little bit at least, you know, or it's kind of a waste. So I decided to go ahead and sit down at the No Limit Texas Hold'em table, play some poker. Uh, the casino that I was at had a jackpot bonus if you hit a royal flush. And they had four different kinds of bonuses for hitting all four different suits for a royal flush. If you don't know much about poker, you're probably confused out of your mind right here. Pretty much they just had a big bonus if you hit a really unlikely hand. Um, I sat down at the table and there was just like, six black dudes, me, and then like some Vietnamese guy, and some really old lady, and we were all playing poker. Surprisingly, the freaking crazy jackpot that rewards like $10,500, it was insane, it was like $10,500, one of the black guys at the table actually hits this jackpot while I'm sitting there and everyone in the casino flips the shit. Everyone goes crazy. The black guy like starts to go freaking nuts and he's like insanely happy. He then goes tells his friend to go get the most expensive bottle of wine that he can find and bring it back to the table. And he said he's going to give everyone at the table a glass of wine. And that's what he does. So his friend goes out, comes back. I'm still playing. It's freaking crazy, man. Everyone's still talking about the jackpot. I mean, it isn't every day that you win 10 grand at a poker table unless you're playing really high level poker. So everyone was freaking happy and especially the guy that won this money and everyone was going to have a glass of really expensive wine. So this guy comes back with like a $1,900 bottle of wine. Everyone has a glass, including myself. It was, it was all right, I guess. Yes, I don't, I'm not a wine drinker, but everyone's chilling, having fun, good time. And now this guy has like $8,000 sitting in front of him at the poker table, right? So he's got an insane amount of money. And instead of doing the smart thing, which is to leave and take the eight grand, he decides to keep playing poker. So he keeps playing poker. And because this guy is not that good and he's just losing control of his emotions, he starts losing a shit ton of money really, really quickly. You know, he has eight grand in front of him and then he has 7.5 grand. Then he has seven grand. Now he's down to six and a half K. And then there's this huge, massive pot between... Between this guy and somebody else at the table. I think it was another black guy. I don't remember exactly who. I just remember that this guy with a huge amount of money is now in this massive, massive pot in poker and he's got a whole bunch of money on the line it's like a four thousand dollar pot right and they're playing and then the cards run out and this guy loses and just snap just like that he he goes from being so freaking happy that he won ten thousand dollars to complete ape shit and he starts a fucking brawl at the table he pulls out a motherfucking gun that's right he actually pulls out a gun and he starts talking so bizarrely that I can't even understand him. And at this point, security guards just like go over and this guy has a gun out. So everyone's just like watching him and not fucking doing anything. I immediately take all my chips at the table. I have like $600 at the table. I scoop them all up, fucking put as many of them in my pocket as I can. I'm freaking out. I'm being a bitch, man. When I see somebody pull a gun out, 
I am fucking God, man. And I take all these chips, put them in my pocket, and just calmly start walking to the exit, right? Everybody else is just, like, watching. It's just like a freaking TV show for everyone. This guy pulls a gun out and is, like, yelling gibberish at someone, and everyone's just watching, and I just take all my shit. I'm like, fuck this, man. I'm out of here. Peace. And I just leave. And uh, I, I leave and I start pulling my car out. And right as I start leaving, I see police cars coming in. Uh, two police cars came in. And that's it. That's the last time that I ever went there. And I still have a bunch of chips that are probably worth at least a couple hundred dollars that I haven't cashed in to that casino because I haven't been back there since. So that's my in the hood, gone wrong gambling experience, kids. So when you go to ghetto casinos, anything can happen. And I mean anything. So don't drink and drive. That's the lesson right there. Don't drink and drive kids anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this story if you did feel free to go ahead and leave a like share it with your friends subscribe leave a comment do all that youtube shit again i gotta say it or i'm gonna die so thanks again guys i appreciate you listening and of course if we can hit 420 likes then i'll go ahead and send everyone one million dollars thanks again guys pewdiepie out Profist. <laughs> <laughs>